What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we yet have another stupid Damien Lord rumor floating out there. Home State Warriors apparently have had internal discussions for trading for Damien Lord. I gotta tell you, it's all this Damien Lord talk has got me going man. You guys obviously know as a Blazers fan, I would never ever want to see this happen but as YouTuber and me, I had to do a rebuild on this unfortunately. Next below, do you guys think a team of Dame, Steph, and Clay? Could work together, and what trade do you think it would take in order for the Warriors to get Damian Miller? Although it's not gonna happen. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to obviously smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We're actually getting really, 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 really close to 19,000 subs already, and you guys are absolutely freaking amazing. You guys are literally the best thing that's ever happened to me. So thank you guys so much, other than my family, of course. But thank you guys so much, and uh, let's go ahead, man, jump into this Damian Lord. Golden State Warriors rebuild. The Golden State Warriors have had internal discussions about trading for Damian Lillard. Now, as a Blazers fan, you guys already know how I feel about this. I honestly hate it, but nonetheless, it is a huge rumor that has come out by Bleacher Report. So I thought, or maybe it wasn't by Bleacher Report. Whoever it came out from, it was definitely a huge rumor that I thought, you know what? I guess we have to do a rebuild on this. So, Damian Lillard on the Golden State Warriors. How are we feeling about this? Let's go ahead and look at this trade real quick. So, uh, this is what I did. It was Damian Lord for Andrew Wiggins, James Wiseman, uh, 7, 14, uh, Future First, and Eric Paschal for Damian Lord. So, basically, the Warriors form a very, very big three of Dame, Steph, and Clay. You still have Draymond Green. It, it definitely is a scary-looking team. I'm not going to lie. Now, would it work? I don't know. That's the question. So, obviously... Clay would have to move to small forward. You'd probably have to play Dame or Steph in the, you know, at shooting guard. So who you want to throw there? I don't know. I might move Dame there. I don't know. We're just going to, it doesn't really matter to be honest. We'll move Dame there, I guess. So we'll have Dame, Steph, and Clay obviously in the backcourt or Clay at the small forward. And then Draymond Green at the four. And I think we could also maybe try to pull off a sign and trade with uh, uh, Kelly Oubre to get a center because right now we traded James Wiseman, obviously. So. Do I think this is going to happen in real life? No, I do not. I don't think Damian Lillard's going to trade it at all, but it is still going to be a rumor forever, I feel like, so there's really no way around it. So that's why we're just kind of doing a, you know, a rebuild on it today for entertainment purposes. So no draft pick, obviously. We traded it for Damian Lillard, so let's go straight to player options. So player options, Jordan Poole, of course, we're going to accept that. Damian Lee is somebody I'm going to accept as well. Juan Scano is somebody I'm going to accept. So we're going to accept all of those. Qualifying offers, we have none. And of course, like I mentioned, free agency is definitely huge. So I'm going to have Kavon Ludi come back. Uh, that would be awesome. And I'm also going to sign Kelly Oubre because I'm going to try to execute a sign and trade with him because we're going to need him to in order to get somebody to help us out. So we, uh, you know, sign Kelly Oubre. We throw him in the trade finder and then Laurie Markkinen pops up. That's actually kind of interesting. Tristan Thompson, honestly, from the Celtics isn't a terrible idea. Uh, the Celtics get a small forward in Kelly Oubre who could definitely help them out on the perimeter. So, just tops could be our starting center for the year, and that's fine. Pressure Chua. Obviously, uh, the Miami Heat could, you know, want Kelly Oubre or whatever, but uh, Derek Favors is also not the worst player in the world to go get. Uh, Steven Adams uh, from uh, the Pelicans would be interesting as well. But I think I'm going to go ahead and do the Tristan Thompson deal just because why not? So, we'll have Tristan Thompson become the starting center for the year. Kevon Looney will back him up. Draymond Green, obviously, at the four. And we'll have Jordan Poole, obviously, as a huge backup shooting guard. And then uh, we might have a mid-level still, so we could sign, like, Thomas Sadoransky, uh, David Nawaba, and then Nicholas Batum and Taj Gibson. So what do we need the most? We have Steph, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, yeah, we definitely could use either a backup small forward or a backup point guard. So we could either sign, like, uh, David Nawaba, which I think I'm going to sign Mr. David uh, just because I like him. So we'll have that going for us. And then I do want to fix some peak end ages in Draymond Green just because uh, he starts to suck very badly. And as you guys know, the man can still play. So I'm going to boost his uh, peak end age to like 38. Although I don't know if he'll play that far. Obviously, we're not going to go that far into this rebuild. It's just I don't want to see him going down to a 77 overall uh, to start things off. So we'll have that going for us. And then we'll probably mess with uh, Clay's as well. Just I don't know how good Clay's going to be off his injury, obviously. But... Uh, we don't want to see these guys just go down and overall right away. So we'll do that. And then Stephen Curry's is at a, and obviously Stephen Curry has shown no sign of showing down so far. So we'll have that and boom. All right. So that's good. Tristan Thompson, maybe we could mess with his as well. Um, just because, uh, you know, peak end ages on 2k just don't make a lot of sense. So it's at 34. We'll leave it. Okay. So we pretty much have a rotation for this next year. So let's go ahead and see how this is going to look. 
player progression, we have Stephen Curry, Damian Lillard, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, Jordan Poole, Tristan Thompson, David Nwaba, Damian Lee, uh, Juan Scott, Kevon Looney, Samaji, Carson Edwards. Okay, let's go to training camps and let's definitely use some untapped potentials that, you know, might be able to help us out and further boosting our team. I'm definitely interested and curious to see how this is going to go. We did a Kawhi Leonard Golden State Warriors rebuild once and it did not go well. The simulation went terrible every season. It did not matter what I did. It was a terrible terrible simulation so i'm definitely interested and curious to see if that is going to result in the same way i don't think it will but you never know so let's go look at this so power ranking lands is number six uh, obviously it is a very talented roster so you have dame steph clay uh draymond green tristan thompson the starting five jordan Poole is a six man nice david Nwamba, juan toscano and damian lee so that's actually pretty solid efficiency wise we're a four and a half at balance um and we'll probably leave it at a balance system so um we'll have that and then I think we could move. Uh, it really doesn't matter. We'll leave it. So let's go ahead and simulate season number one. I'm interested and curious to see how this is going to go. If this team doesn't make the playoffs, I would not be shocked just because 2K is weird sometimes. But also, I would still be shocked because how this team is playoffs. But we'll see what happens. So this team only finishes up as the fifth seed, which is rather surprising. Because honestly, for me, it feels like 2K, you know, it, you know, 2K used to love the Golden State Warriors. Obviously, when you guys remember back in whatever it was, like 2K... I think it's 18 19 days whenever the warriors had a super team obviously they would always win the championship it seemed like but now whenever you try to build a super team with the warriors it just never seems to work out maybe it's because steph and clay are up there in age i don't know what it is but mvp luka Doncic, john suggs rookie of the year on the raptors and then six man of the year dan woody eyes defense player go by Doste, most improved and here's your all nba first team lebron all right yeah lebron Giannis, will beat Harden, and luka all nba second team russ Kyrie, jimmy jason tatum Jokic. I'll be at 13. So we have nobody from the Golden State Warriors making an all NBA team. Obviously, I imagine the scoring is probably spread out between the three guys. But yeah, only the fifth seed. At least we made the postseason, though. I will say that because remember, when I did a Kawhi Leonard Golden State Warriors review, I actually uploaded it. It was a huge fail, but I uploaded it just to show you that 2K hates the Warriors now, man. Just because, like, when I had Kawhi on this team, when that was a rumor, we didn't make postseason at all. I don't think if I remember correctly or if we did we got like eliminated immediately it was just crazy but uh rather than you know obviously we're not talking about that anymore but we have Damian Lord Stephen Curry averaging 26 points per game which is awesome Clay Thompson with 21 14 from Jordan Poole 10 from Tristan Thompson and 13 rebounds and one block so he's a pretty uh, productive center for us Draymond Green with seven obviously doing his Draymond Green-esque stuff Damian Lee with seven David Nwamba with five okay so we're playing the Memphis Grizzlies in the first round. I imagine we should be able to beat a Memphis team. I mean, we have three absolute studs on the perimeter who should be able to absolutely kill this team. I don't know what I was trying to go do there. I think I was trying to fix the uh, rotation and make it an eight man just to give myself the best team possible on the floor. That's what I'm going to try to go for it here. So can we beat the Memphis Grizzlies? So I'm going to clean current round and we lost in seven. Wow. Okay. So I'm telling you, man, this game hates the this game hates the Warriors. Or at least maybe it's my file. I don't know what it is. LeBron James goes on to win the championship over the Brooklyn Nets, though. So yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of um crazy. So we got eliminated in the first round. Uh so we did all that just to get eliminated in the first round. Alright, well, staff signing. Um Steve Kerr should be fired here for that, but he has good ratings, so I mean, I don't ever feel the need to fire him, but maybe he's the problem. I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and fire uh mike brown though uh not that it's his fault i guess i'll hire trent peterson to we'll sign him and then uh we probably should have uh, you know what sorry for firing you come back please okay let's go to the draft imagine firing someone just to hire them right back so all right here we go 20 second pick in the draft um i don't know man is there anything we want to do here like kavon looney and 22 is there like something that would pop up that might help us out no, probably not right um, what we call it Stein? Yeah, nothing crazy. So let's just go ahead and draft here. So number 22, we need our savior because clearly what we have going on is not enough. So 22, Jabari Smith Jr. off the bench actually would not be bad at all. So we'll go ahead and gra uh, grab him. Jabari Smith, welcome to the Golden State Warriors, 77 overall. Brandon Warford in the second round as well. Player options will accept. And then qualifying offers, none. All right, so free agency. Uh, Stephen Curry's a free agent. Obviously, we don't want to lose him. Tristan Thompson was actually pretty productive for us. Um, so I obviously want Steph back like that's 1000% a thing so we'll go ahead and give Steph uh, back to the Warriors obviously and then uh, Damian Lee uh, Tristan Thompson is somebody uh, that actually played pretty well for us 
So I'll give him a two-year deal. Why not? Uh, he was pretty productive with that center spot. So we'll go uh, Steph, Tristan Thompson. Uh, obviously, most of the times, you uh, you know, most teams aren't trying to pay centers anymore. It seems like, unless if you're like a Deion Drayton or something like that. So that is cool. Dr you know, Jordan Poole is awesome. David Wall, but that's cool. Uh, Jabari Smith at the four is fine. Kevon Looney, I mean, we could just roll with it, but we do have the ability. Sound like a Duncan Robinson. Uh, we have a Willie Selena Gomez here. Uh, Daniel Tyus, Robert Covington. Uh, if Robert Covington was actually good in 2K, that would be an amazing signing, but unfortunately, he's not. Uh, so, Duncan Robinson off the bench would be cool as well. Um, I'm going to sign Duncan Robinson. Why not? Just have another perimeter shooter on the floor. So, maybe we move him to small forward, and then we'll have kind of a funky lineup of... Yeah, we'll do, we'll do something like that. So, um, we're going to run it back one more time, I think, unless if we wanted to trade... Maybe want to trade Tristan Thompson and Kavon Looney and see if we can get, like, uh, okay, so we got Moses Brown, Zubaj popping up, Xavier Tillman. Boogie Cousins, bring him back to the Warriors. Uh, Rashawn Holmes, okay. Sean Holmes definitely could be a center that would be really nice here. So, I'm not totally opposed to that. Dario Saric, um, Steven Adams. I think I'm going to do this trade. Why not? We'll shake things up. Drew Eubanks as well. So, we do get still a backup center. So, Rashawn Holmes, uh, obviously a really solid center. Uh, so, I'll have him be the center here. And Drew Eubanks backing him up. So, I mean, it's just a matter of watching this team and seeing if we can kind of bounce back. So, season number two, is it going to go any better? To be honest, in my head, I don't think it is. I just don't. Um, whenever I do a simulation with the Warriors and we try to get like a broken super team together, it just never pans out very well. So, I'm not really sure why it is that that way like it just happens that way i don't know what it is so untapped potential camp so throw this one at throw it at draymond green again and then we'll throw the last one at um let's throw it at jabari smith why not all right so we'll have that and then power ranking lens is at number eight so obviously we should be one of the better teams out here but you know it just never really seems to happen that way so um this is our rotation it's looking really good i think i might take drew eubanks out and just throw um Smith Jr. in there. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, boom, just like that. We have our brand new rotation proficiency. It's still a four and a half at balance, man. Can we have a good simulation and make it to the first seed? That's a good question. I don't know. Doesn't seem to happen that way, but let's see what happens in this season. Number two, we ended up as the first seed in the West, which is what we wanted to see, man. This is what we should have gotten earlier. But MVP, Joel Embiid. Chet Holmgren, Rookie of the Year on the Indiana Pacers. That could be very nice for them, actually. Use some Nurkic six-man on the Blazers. So, uh, so the Blazers have decided to keep Nurkic around. So, honestly, if you guys like this video, we might do the reverse side of things tomorrow, depending on if there's a different rumor that comes out tomorrow, just because, you know, we're kind of in the dead time right now. Um, not really in the dead time, I would say, because NBA Finals are on. But um, I would say as far as, like, I don't know. You guys get what I'm saying. I'm just kind of addressing rumors. Nothing crazy has actually happened. No trades are actually happening. And I don't think uh, they can have. Well, they can because there was Kim Walker thing. But whatever. So, Steve Kerr, Coach of the Year. Here's your All-NBA first team. Do we have a representative of the All-NBA teams? Yes, we have Stephen Curry here. Okay, cool. So, no Damian Lillard or anything. All right. Uh, all defense first team. All defense second team. Draymond Green making it here? No. So, what is you actually here for, Draymond? All right. So, uh, and then Jabari Smith Jr. did not make an all-rookie second team. So, uh, first seed in the West, uh, going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Player stats, 28 from Steph, 26 from uh, Damian Lord, 18 from Clay, 15 from Jordan Poole off the bench. Awesome. And then 9 from Rashawn Holmes and 10. So, I mean, if there was ever a year to win a championship, it would definitely be this year. So, um, our window is right now, man. Uh, this team is not getting any younger. So, we definitely got to take advantage now. Kim Walker is still the sixth man of the Thunder. Somebody current round against the Thunder, and we are down three to one. What a shocker, right? Why are we shocked? We're not. All right, so can we make a comeback? Is the question. All right, here we are, game five. I'm just gonna go ahead and say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click simulate third game. I'm gonna take the fate. Whatever happens, get eliminated. I am not surprised. I'm literally not surprised. Okay. And the Nuggets going to win the championship. But for your entertainment, I will run it back. One more time, literally one more time, because this is just the way the 2K is with the Golden State Warriors. Whenever I form a, you know what, this guy deserves to be fired. I love him and all, but I I'm firing him. I don't know if he's the problem, but I'm I'm just gonna fire him and blame it on him. So we'll have that. Um, so Steve Kerr's gone. He's gone. I had to fire the man, dude. We just keep losing. It's not going well. So 
Uh, NBA draft, nothing. So let's go straight to player options. And we have Draymond Green declining. Trent Warford will accept. So Draymond Green's a free agent. Do we bring him back? I don't know. Probably not. Maybe we try and trade him. Uh, so we have Jordan Poole as a free agent. $20 million. Drew Eubanks, Juan Scano. Um, I'll sign Drew Eubanks to a three-year deal. Why not? So Draymond Green. Uh, as far as he's concerned, he wants $27 million. Uh, he has an 85 overall power forward, though. We should probably be interested in resigning him. So I'll go ahead and give him a deal, I guess. So we'll sign him. And uh, Draymond Green would definitely be the perfect fit next to all these guys, obviously. But it's just a matter of it's not working. So uh, we got a new head coach, though. So I'm going to blame it on Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr is the problem, obviously. If you haven't noticed that yet, then I don't know what you're watching. So let's go ahead and sign Carson Edwards back. And then we'll sign. Uh, we'll get Jordan Poole back. And we're going to run it back one more time, man. That's all you could do. That's all you could really do. So... Um, wow, we didn't get Jordan Poole back. Okay, that's actually really unfortunate. So, um, I mean, we do have a bench, so I guess it's not that big of a deal, but still. So, no Jordan Poole. Let's go straight to this next season, man. Um, we're going to run it back one last time. And if we can't win a championship this year, it is just shocked, man. We can't do it. So, um, we can run an Emmett rotation. We'll have that. Proficiency wise, we'll have a four star system at balance. Okay. It's not a four and a half, but it's a four star. So into this third season, come on, man. Can we win a championship? Stephen Curry comes out as the MVP of the year. Is that so? Nick Nurse is the head coach. Steve Kerr is gone. Damian Lennox is the NBA third team. And we are playing um, the San Antonio Spurs. So player stats, we had 30 from Steph, 30 from Damian Lord, 19 from Clay, 16 from Jabari Smith Jr. So what a W. Uh, Sean Holmes, 8. Horford, 7. Doug Robinson. So, I mean, we're playing the Spurs. Can we get out of the first round is the question. That's my question. Go ahead and turn around. And we are now. Oh, my goodness. We won in seven games. We got out of the first round. It's a Christmas freaking miracle. Okay. Kerry Lewis Jr. and Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Zion, Mark Williams. So, we're definitely going to have to bring the heat this series. So, I'm going to run an eight-man rotation just to feel safe. So, we'll do that. Uh, turn Warford out of the rotation. Here we go. Time to turn around against the Orleans Pelicans. And it is a 2-2 series. So, let's go to SimCast now. And let's bet our lives that we're going to win game five here. Because making it to the West Cards finals here would be awesome after the pain and suffering we've gone through in this video. So we blow them out here at 103 to 124. Beat them in game six as well. No, come on. All right. Game seven. And the Dub Nation. Here we go. We take care of business here. We don't lose. We don't lose to this Pelicans team. We don't lose here. And just like that, we blow them out by 30 points. We're in the West Cards finals. That's what I've been asking for the whole video. Why did it take this long? I guess Steve Kerr is just the problem. We're playing the Portland Trailblazers, oddly enough. That's actually kind of funny. So we're playing Theo, Jane Springer, Zara Williams, uh, Eric Paschal, James Wiseman, Houston Nurkic. That is a definitely very interesting roster that we are playing right now. So J.D. Davidson, C.J. McCollum is still here. Shy Odom is here a little. So this could definitely be a tough matchup. Game one, we're up 1-0. Damian Lord playing his former team. Wouldn't it be funny if the Blazers eliminated Damian Lord? Game two... Game three, it's not going to happen, though. In game four, we finally make it to the NBA Finals. We should have done that a long time ago. Can we close it out, though, and win a championship? Zach Levine is a six-man backing up Amari Bailey. All right, I've seen it all. Game one, we're up one to zero. 36 and six from Dame. Game two, we're up two to zero. Game three, or two to one, okay. Game three, no, come on. No? Okay, let's go. Here we go. Three to two series. We haven't been recording that long, so... Hopefully we can beat them here and maybe I'll jump in and get a little bit of, you know, some 2K spicy gameplay. So um, we'll go ahead and jump in like now. So one minute, 56 seconds left. We finally were able to get the Golden State Warriors the championship when they have a super team, man. It seems like it's been impossible. Freaking Jesus. Okay. So we got, uh, well, who's that? Bobby Portis free throw them back to Chicago. Okay. Bobby Portis is back in Chicago and then he makes the second one. All right, dude, I hate Damon Lord in a Warriors jersey right now. It's really actually irritating me. But whatever. So, come on, Rashawn Holmes. Give me a screen. I'm actually going to just pull from deep here. Just kidding. Actually, I am. Screw it. Let's go. In. Just like that. Damon Lord for three. This team would be actually really nasty. I mean, you got Clay on the perimeter. Draymond Green on the perimeter who can play defense. Steph and, you know, Steph and Dame obviously aren't good, you know, the best defenders. But I feel like when they do want to try, they could obviously be decent. Uh, but it's just a matter of they do a lot on the offensive end. So I don't know. You guys get what I'm saying, though. We got Vucevic. Um, back and be down. 
Uh, he's he, he picked up his dribble. We gotta do patch to Williams, and he misses. Draymond Green with the rebound. Obviously, Draymond Green takes it up floor here. I might just take it all the way. I might just shoot with Clay. I might just you know go crazy today. You guys, see the bars that I have going on. All right, let's go. Sean Holmes screen. Um, I'm a pull for deep. Stephen Curry missed that time. All right, 125 to 103. Bobby Portis gets the board. You think Bobby Portis would ever end up in Chicago? Didn't he punch uh? What's the guy's name? Nikola Miritic uh, that one year. Then he kind of just, obviously Chicago, I think. Didn't Chicago trade him? Or he might have left free agency. I don't remember. I just remember. Yeah, they traded him to the Wizards, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, But let's go. Dame Dalla is finally going to get a ring. That's awesome. Happy for him. I just wish it would be in Portland. All right. Rashawn Holmes for alley-oop. Let's go. I almost said for three, but obviously that was not for three. So, you know, to be honest, guys. When I fired Steve Kerr, my problems were solved. So, I don't know. Maybe Steve Kerr is just not the guy here in 2K. Although his ratings are pretty good. And just immediately after I fired him. Oh my goodness. Get out of here. Sean Holmes with a nice defense. Vucevic is trying to go right back at him. And I foul him this time. All right. 127 to 105. Obviously, this game is definitely over. We're going to have one more possession. And this game is over. But boys, we had won a championship with the freaking... Golden State Warriors when they had a super team. That's all that matters. So, uh, who is this? I don't even know. This. Oh, I have Roddy Magruder out here. Didn't Clay diss the hell out of this guy one time? Um, all right, I'm going to just pull up from with Roddy Magruder. And, okay, almost got the fence board. But, guys, that is going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, this is not happening in real life. It's not happening. Thank you for watching. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace.